guys, it's me, Jared Wrightson, Mobile Storm. I know we like to crack wise here at OTI, but something's been eating at me for a while. A new story came out recently, and I just gotta get something off my chest. I'm okay. I'm all right. Yeah, this is the same suit I wore last week. No, I don't have the type of money you'd have, but I look good in it. That's my mom tells me I do. I'm gonna get into it here. A story came out about regulators putting pressure on text messaging rights. Yeah, remember that story uh, a couple episodes back about the proposed New York State law that would sort of, um, you know, regulate behavioral messaging? Assemblyman Richard Brodsky is now trying to, he's on the SMS regulation side, and I actually am behind him 100%. He joined a petition to the FCC along with a few other free speech rights groups against Verizon Wireless for engaging in discrimination. Yeah, basically Verizon would not allow these groups uh, short codes to send text messages on their networks. And there, one of the groups was a rival group and one of them was a, um, was a controversial group. Mr. Brodsky and other folks think it's wrong for cellular providers to be able to block messages if they don't like the content. And I'm with you on this one. Last year, the wireless company refused to allow pro-choice group, the N-A-R-A-L, to use short codes to reach members who've signed up to receive text messages. Verizon Wireless, oddly enough, pulled, uh, reversed that decision and gave them those rights the, day, the, the same day that the New York Times put this story on the front page. Funny, huh? They also would not approve a short code for a company called Rebtel, which made it cheap and to, to make phone calls over cell phones. I um, wonder why that wasn't approved. These stories really got me thinking about a lot of other issues that I've had for a long time about wireless telcos. You know, when you're like... 40, 50 years old, and you haven't dealt with your childhood, and it's just all bent up, and you want to just, just explode? Well, that's kind of how I feel. So guess what? Classes in session, you better listen up. Carriers. How much longer are you going to try and regulate and control every single transaction? How much longer are you going to try to take big chunks of revenue off every piece of content sent on your network? Sure, you spent billions and billions of dollars building out your wireless infrastructures, but so did a lot of other companies that provide us with our internet and our telephone. They seem to find ways to make money without having to take every single piece. Well, we won't go down that road, but come on, let's get to some facts here. Remember when you could buy domain names and, and you only could go to one place to do it and it was $60 a month? Domain names can now be purchased by anyone super quick for as low as $6 a month and from any number of companies like GoDaddy or any of these other registrars. Let's parallel that with the wireless industry, shall we? Short codes, which are the equivalent of domains, cost $1,500 to $3,000 a quarter. You can only buy them from one place, Newstar. How's this fair? Was it fair when Network Solutions was the only place to buy domains from? It takes, here's the funny part, it takes six to eight weeks to get your short code approved, possibly longer. Why? Because there's an actual person sitting behind a desk looking it over and testing and approving every single short code application. How's that a scalable business model? To have a domain up and running these days takes what? 48 hours for you know, DNS to resolve globally? I mean, come on, Verizon denied short codes to these companies because the carrier didn't approve of their content. Should they be allowed to take eight weeks to get a service approved, only to then to reject it because the content doesn't fall in line with their, their views? We, 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 we're talking about free speech here. We're talking about First Amendment. What if the internet was run like this? Think about it. Just trip on this for one second. What if we had to wait eight weeks to get a domain approved by one person at some regulatory body, and, and, and they had the power to decide if I could get on the internet or not get on the internet? We wouldn't have the internet. We wouldn't have it. Think about what the internet has done for society, for cultures, for commerce. Think about how it's made the world smaller, how it's created tremendous opportunity for billions and billions of people. None of this would be possible if it was managed and regulated by a good old boy's network. And yes, that was a pun intended. And another thing, when your short code is approved, and the carrier, the carrier can take up to 50% of your content generated from your revenues, from your revenue generated from your content. Imagine if every website owner had to pay a fee to their ISP for every bit of revenue they made through their website. Does net neutrality ring a bell? If you don't know what that is, wiki, Wikipedia, wicka wicka. It's a new song. Remember AOL's Walled Garden in 1995 when you can only get access to their content, to their information, and through their browsers? What happened? Well, 
what happened was developers and consumers, they pushed and they pushed and they pushed until the walls came tumbling down. Like Jericho sitting there with a horn. The whole thing crumbled. Carriers, it's time you start thinking about what made the internet successful and quickly follow suit. Think about it. You have the credit card information on every single individual in America, and you have amazing billing systems that could quickly and easily bill them and get their money fast and, and, and right away. Well, maybe not super right away, but you get the money. Open up your platform to all commerce. Make sure code approval and provisioning instant like the internet is. Take a small percentage, like a credit card company, on every transaction, there will be billions upon billions and billions of them. Are you listening, Visa? Sure, you might lose a bit of revenue in the short term, but think of the long tail. The long tail. Oh, think about CompuServe and ailing AOL. You can't keep your walls up for long. No. No. Can you hear me now? I'm Jared Reitzman. I'm going back to my office. I'm glad I got that off my chest. Oh, hey, how's it going? Hey. Oh, oh. Can you hear me now, Ben?